Malta Massey, bringing you the latest happenings in dancehall and reggae music. Welcome, it's Malta Massey, and here are the stories making the cut for today. Andrew Holness tackles false prophets. Called ex member sends message. Stay tuned for the stories in detail, and remember to follow me on Instagram at Malta underscore Massey. <laughs> Prime Minister Andrew Holness says utter nonsense being spouted by false prophets is undermining the government's attempt to increase COVID-19 vaccinations. He delivered a stinging rebuke of what he sees as rubbish during a handing over ceremony of a genome sequencing machine to the National Influenza Center at the University Hospital of the West Indies in St. Andrew. The Prime Minister says it's essential that health professionals do more to educate the public about the safety of scenes let's move on to the other story a man who said that he was involved in the occult world for 22 years is warning cops who were engaged in sunday's operation at pathways international kingdom restoration ministries in montego bay st james to be prepared for spiritual attacks Spearmore Lee said demons were promised human blood and have been left dissatisfied. He said, and I quote, everyone who went on that compound to stop the ritual is going to come under a spiritual attack. Unquote. Two persons were murdered at the church, allegedly, as a part of a religious ritual. While being thankful that the intervention of the police prevented the loss of more lives at the church, where it is said that 144 persons were to be sacrificed. Smith said that his knowledge of the dark world has left him to conclude that the persons who broke up the event are not safe. Two persons died, allegedly, as a part of the religious ritual, and a third was shot and killed by police who stormed the church after being advised of the chilling events that were unfolding he said and i quote these spirits would have got a sacrificial offering of three human blood so on that date each year they're going to return and if they cannot get this then they're going to visit the persons who had stopped the ritual these people need to call upon jesus christ of nazareth and not jesus christ because jesus christ is what the Obia man use. You have to call upon the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth for help or else these demons are going to latch onto them and their loved ones, he added. Head of the church, Kevin O. Smith, and other members of his congregation have been taken into police custody following the nightmarish incident. They are facing multiple criminal charges. Smith said that during his time in the occult world, he participated in countless numbers of rituals, some of which included animal sacrifice, but not the shedding of human blood. In the meantime, the self-styled spiritualist said that persons are normally placed under a spell after joining cults. He said, and I quote, It is easy for persons to get manipulated and treat the head of the cult like a god. What persons don't understand is that demons can be transferred through just a touch. Persons can touch you and a spirit just start using you as a host. The occult world is satanic and the higher you climb is the higher the demons demands are of you. It is best to stay as far as possible away from those groups. Unquote. The 46 year old man said that his introduction to the occult took place when he was 14 when he started attending the revival type church. He said, and I quote, I didn't know it was an occult at first. I started out good, but the more you continue to grow in the realm of the spirit is the more bad you will become because different types of spirits begin to present themselves to you. I couldn't read at the time and thought it was a good thing. They were praising fallen angels at the time. I would have moved up in the church and then went to another outlet where I would be making lots of money by being like an obia man. I remember leaving, going to church, and after that, we and the church sisters would have orgies, he said. Boy, I must even hear them something, yeah? Wanna hear them something here? Well, all of us need to go ahead and pray for those officers who saved so many lives. Anyways, Massive, what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section below. Massive, several things are coming to the fore about this cult pastor, Kevin Smith, and his church. One of the latest things is that members
members were hoodwinked into handing over their first paycheck that they received each year. Also, members had to pay a late fee. But anyways, check out this video. Would we want to rectify it? Because so far, um, the adult class is winning and the rest, they are beating a bad. Now it's 4,900. Isn't I wanna, wanna guessing I wanna play in Scrabble? Oh, who they pay to? I'm right here. <laughs> sent, what sent along with one of the young men? All right, those of you who are late this morning, can I have the late book? I know all who was here from this morning. Is that this one? Put it in this one. How many of you are late? Two hundred dollar can pay for the whole of your Jing Mang family. Start calling out names. I don't see Paula. You will come to me then. Arlene Martin Palmer, Jillian, Isaiah James. I saw Jacqueline. Norma Willocks is late to church. Where's Norma? Norma, I need to talk to you. Is either you find a new man? So why are you not coming to church no more? You have fixed fence when you should be at church. Your fence are gonna drop down. You get more than drop down and then tell the see I take the land. See the where else is here? Uh-huh. How you doing? You still singing? So you're Mount Lean, sir. Huh? Sit again. So that's it for today, massive Montana. Big up on a nice, clean self. Enough love, enough respect. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings. Positive vibrations going out to the massive. I'm out of Massey, Magan. Mount Massey, Mount Massey. Covering the latest in Jamaican music and culture like share comment and subscribe now, now.